Okay, this is our Powermatic drill press. We have the motor assembly up here, and then we have the belts. This is your speed, how fast this bit is gonna go around, your on-off switch. This is our depth stop. These are our quill feed levers, basically fill. Uh, they're your um, feed levers. They actually make it go up and down, okay? So that's what that is. We have the table. We have the columns, and the spindle goes up here. This is the chuck that's holding the drill bit. And then we have the column and the base, okay? And over here, this is the spindle lock. I'm gonna show you how to use all this. Our key is always over here, okay? Key is always over here. Um, the drill bit is in there right now. I'm gonna show you a couple things. You see these holes on the outside, okay? That is where the key goes. And we can actually tighten and loosen this thing up. Okay, and I'm gonna put this in my holder. I'm gonna just drill a little hole today. I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how to accomplish that with this drill press. Once you learn this one, the other one's very simple. Okay, uh, first thing we're gonna do though is show you how to uh, just take a bit out, which means you know clockwise and counterclockwise. This will just fall right out of there. Okay, and we can put another one in if we wanted to. Okay, make sure it, there's three jaws on there. And just make sure that those jaws grab around that bit. Okay, I'm checking my video. Put it up in there, make sure. Now what you can do is you can actually, a lot of times, tighten this by hand, okay? So tighten this by hand, and then what you wanna do is take your key and twist it, each hole, you wanna snug that thing up, okay? And then I'll put this back exactly where we found it, so we got it all the time, okay? Now our drill bit is in there. What we can do is give a little shot, turn it on and off, and we're actually making sure that, that that drill bit, we're making sure this is nice and straight. It's not, you know, kitty wampus. Make sure we got it in there nice and straight. Some we drill, we have no problems, okay? That's our goal. Now, the table actually has a piece of oak on top of here. It's clamped down. It's pretty secure, all right? Leave this on. We don't want to drill through this because we don't want to drill into the metal table. The table is metal, we don't want to drill through there. Most of the time we'll have a piece of wood on top of that at all times, okay? Now, uh, on the other side here, what we have, we actually have uh, feed levers and we have a depth stop, all right? This is the depth stop, which means when I pull these levers down, it stops me from going any further, okay? Any further means, look, I can only go so far down. All right, so if I set this all the way down here, you know, look at my height. I'm not even hitting a piece of wood now, all right? So that's my depth stop. Now, I don't want to go through this piece of wood. I just want to go through, I just want to go through this piece of wood, okay? So I pretty much have this set exactly where I want it, all right? So we have that set. Now sometimes you change the blade, you're gonna to have to set that depth, that depth, okay, that depth gauge. Now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a little mark and we wanna actually just uh we just wanna drill a hole right there. That's our location. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring it back to this side and we want to line up our drill bit with our marking. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bring the drill bit down to the marking. Okay, so we feed this down. Now, when that's down, what we wanna do is we're gonna take this lever right here and we're gonna lock it. And when we lock that, what it does is it holds everything in place. You see how my bit is touching the wood? Okay, it locked, it locked this, so that's locked. So everything's locked right now. So it locked my spindle, so that way, what I can do is, I can actually put a clamp, I can put a clamp on my piece of wood. Okay, I'm gonna clamp this down. You can use an orange clamp if you want. I prefer C clamps, but when you do that, you wanna make sure your stock is tight and secure to that table, okay? Once I have my clamp on there, I can loosen this, and that loosens this back up, and it gives me freedom to drill my hole, okay? Now, check your piece. You want this nice and tight. I don't want to see any free hands. Keep your hands always four or five inches away from the bit at all times. I don't want to see any freehand drilling. Everything has to be clamped and secure, okay? 
Now, I'm ready to drill. So what I can do is start it up. I'm gonna feed down real slow. And sometimes maybe clear out a little bit, okay? And once you get down in there, if you see different colored wood chips coming out, you'll know that you drilled all the way through. You know? All right, it's not a race. It's not a race, okay? Uh, don't take your hand and do this. If anything, you know, get another piece of wood, get your wood scraps, get a uh, broom, a little brush, a little hand broom, and clean that out. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to take our piece off of here, and we're going to inspect our hole. I know we got it. Okay. Oops. Now look, I didn't drill all the way through. Okay. So what my problem is, I came through this far. So I'd have to adjust my depth and bring that back down, okay? So here's a quick scenario. The quick scenario is, how do I do this again? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down, I'm gonna tighten this up, okay? I'm gonna set my depth gauge so I go a little deeper into the hole, okay? And then, it doesn't take long. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stick it up again. I'm going to drill that out. 